everyone wants to be selected on merit, not as a quota player, not as a target player, not as any of those. I'd like to think we're getting better at managing our quota system's work, but I still think that, that there's a, a lot of work that needs to be done. We found that well, two years ago, beginning of the season, you know, all of a sudden players were playing, um, you know, young players were playing that, that were not probably not ready to play. I think sometimes we, we, we almost lower the standards just a little bit because we feel it's a black African player and we've got to nurture him along and, 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 and almost, look, if, it, if, it, if you average just 20 with a bat, it's okay, it's actually not okay. But then again, again, opportunities get given. You get players who play for the, you know, for the franchise, they don't particularly well, they get dropped again into, into the semi-pro, but they, they, they shoot lights out, they take wickets, they score runs. It's just, I mean, if they had not been given an opportunity to play at another level, it, it probably wouldn't have happened. The perception sometimes is that targets has, has led to a decline in, in the competition standard, and, and that is not shown by the statistics. A lot of players have come through beautifully, you know. Um, I always use Umpira Mela, who was, um, you know, was brought into the Cobra setup and had an amazing season. Next thing he's playing, he's playing for South Africa A. And that's purely on merit. Had it not been a target, or, or, or um, he probably wouldn't have played. Immediately, when you're a, a black or a black African player, you are you are deemed a quota uh, um, or a target player, which is which is unfair. program we take these kids play against the model C schools um, and then you will get those parents asking where does he come from um, you know is he good enough and then once the kids start playing good shots and 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 now they will say wow um, it doesn't matter where you come from if you get given an opportunity to play and then let's just show people not because of your color or whatever but because you deserve to be there and if you have the opportunity and the quality of opportunity, you can become a pro tier player and a world class player. I mean, again, Kaji Surabada is a great example. Makai and Tini is a great example. So there has to be the, 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 the acknowledgement of I've got to ensure that this quality of opportunity that I've created for this player, I've got to give him every tool, I've got to give him every opportunity. And I've also got to ensure that he's the right player. What we want to do is make sure we retain every player that has the ability to play for South Africa. We are going to lose a, a one or two players to county cricket, to, to Colpax, because of the, the, the targets that we have. But we, you know, it's a, it's a part and parcel of our life. We, we've got to understand that we've got to, we, the imbalances of the past cannot continue. If you're good enough to play for South Africa, um, Cricket South Africa will do everything in its powers to, to retain you within the system. We have got to genuinely be honest with ourselves and, and say to ourselves, did, you know, have we created enough opportunity um, for, for players of colour. We've done well and in terms of, of bringing through players um, and especially when it comes to black and black African players. Um, but we can do a lot better. Mm -hmm.